Republican Representative Justin Amash appears to be calling for impeachment proceedings toward Donald Trump. Now this was the conclusion he came up with after reading the entirety of the Mueller report. And here's what he tweeted. Now it was a lengthy Twitter thread. I chose the tweets that I think are the most relevant. Let me share them with you. He says, here are my principal considerations or conclusions. Attorney General Barr has deliberately misrepresented Mueller's report. President Trump has engaged in impeachable conduct. Partisanship has eroded our system of checks and balances. And few members of Congress have read the report, which I think is pretty clear, yeah. right? On number four, I would say, of course, yeah. <laughs> probably if, if, Two other members of Congress read the entire report, I'd be surprised. And there's 535 of them. So he continues to tweet, in comparing Barr's principal conclusions, congressional testimony and other statements to Mueller's report, it is clear that Barr intended to mislead the public about special counsel Robert Mueller's analysis and findings. Under our constitution, the president, quote, shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. While high crimes and misdemeanors is not defined, the context implies conduct that violates the public trust. Contrary to Barr's portrayal, Mueller's report reveals that President Trump engaged in specific actions and a pattern of behavior that met the threshold for impeachment. Now this led to fire and fury, right? So uh, the Republican Party is angry about this. Donald Trump, of course, immediately tweeted in response to this. And I wanna share his tweets with you in just a second. Um, he says, never a fan of Justin Amash. Really? You never really tweeted about him before. A total lightweight who opposes me and some of our great Republican ideas and policies just for the sake of getting his name out there through controversy. If he actually read the biased Mueller report, composed by 18 angry Dems who hated Trump, he would see that it was nevertheless strong on no collusion and ultimately no obstruction, blah, 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 blah. You guys get the point. I don't know if anyone in the Republican Party, apparently there's one, Justin Amash, has any logic left. How can you keep saying that it's 18 angry Democrats who proved I was completely innocent in a witch hunt they conducted of me which, which completely exonerated me. That, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. And they're like, oh, absolutely, that's right. It was a witch hunt by 18 angry Democrats. And that's why they showed that Trump is totally innocent. What? <laughs> right? They've just, we're not talking the same language anymore. They've just detached themselves from logic. So, but I'm heartened to find one Republican in the land right. who says, yeah, no, your eyes aren't lying to you. The report had, over 10 instances of clear obstruction of justice, a clear felony. And our job is to impeach a president who has committed felonies. This is not complicated. And he's probably scratching his head going, why aren't the Democrats doing anything about this? And that's another fundamental misunderstanding that almost everybody in Washington has about current day politics. Because the Democrats are paid to lose. So they don't do anything because their donors want them to be weak selected them ahead of time to be weak and not to be aggressive and fight back against the Republican Party. So Amash is looking around as the Democrats on the verge of victory have surrendered, right. going, I don't get it, but I vote impeachment. So my mind always goes back to what you say on this show, Jenk, which is people like Nancy Pelosi have used Donald Trump as a fundraising tool. So the fear mongering about Trump isn't meant to garner support for impeachment proceedings. It's meant to fear monger and it's meant to help them in their efforts to raise money. At the same time, I mean, we say Democrats and it's, it's a bit of a blanket statement. But in reality, there are some Democrats who wanna fight and have been fighting aggressively. It's just that they're not part of the Democratic leadership. They're usually freshman Democrats like Rashida Tlaib, who's fighting pretty aggressively for impeachment proceedings. But nonetheless, Nancy Pelosi thinks, no, this is a fundraising tool. I'm gonna use it to my advantage. This is what I refer to when I talk about how successful I am in the party. And then let's call it a day. But they continuously underestimate how damaging this is to the country, right? Like I get it, you wanna raise money, but in your efforts to raise money, you are essentially telling the country that the executive branch is above the law and that is unacceptable. 
Yeah, so now let's go to uh, Amash's motives, because I'm not naive. I, of course, I look for ulterior motives, especially when it's a right winger and a, and a Republican. And by the way, Amash is more right wing than most of, uh, almost all of Congress, actually. He's a Tea Party guy. Yeah, he's Tea Party uh, through and through, which means he's the most extreme right winger. Uh, but sometimes when you go that far right, you'll find principle. Um, it doesn't happen often. Uh, so anyway, there's speculation that uh, he, oh, he might run against Trump on the libertarian ticket. So let's think that one through. Who thinks that the liber libertarian ticket is going to win in this election? Almost no one. Now, so what's the real political dynamic for Justin Amash? Is this his district? Well, his district is very Republican. One of the counties in his district voted for Trump by 30 points. So nine out of 10 Republicans in a recent poll still back Trump completely on the issue of impeachment and just about everything else. Mm -hmm. So if you're a Republican Party official, uh, there is an excellent chance that you will be punished severely for opposing Donald Trump. And he did it anyway. So if you're Justin Amash, the correct political calculation, if that's all you care about is do not oppose Trump under any circumstance. And in fact, of course, he had a primary opponent within hours. Yep. So if you're saying, oh, like one of, of course, one of the critiques from the right is, oh, he's just a turncoat looking for attention. Looking for attention in a deeply red district? <laughs> I mean, the attention you're gonna get is a primary opponent, a lot of money spent against you and maybe driven out of Congress. Why the hell would a politician look for that kind of attention? He's been coasting along in that district comfortably being an extreme right winger. Mm -hmm. So it does appear to be an actual act of principle. I know for a Republican elected to national office, that seems near impossible. For a politician, period, right? Yes. Yeah. So but we have one. It, it looks like we've got one. So, by the way, in, I'll say now in hindsight, all the things that I massively disagree with Amash on, and we've talked about some of them on the show, I'll give him respect in hindsight that he might actually believe those things as opposed to being paid to believe those things like every other Republican and 80% of Democrats. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com slash join.